My name is Nikita Burke. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Trang Lab here at the Hotchkiss Brain Institute and the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Calgary. Chronic pain is defined as pain that lasts for longer than three months. Um, it can be associated with an injury that doesn't heal or it can be associated with uh, many types of diseases such as multiple sclerosis or traumatic brain injury um, and say even diabetes as well. So it's, it's associated with a whole host of different diseases but it's also a disease in, in its own right. Chronic pain pervades beyond the sensory symptoms of you know, pain and hypersensitivity but it's also associated with low mood, poor sleep and in increased risk of suicide and also a reduced quality of life. So the direct healthcare costs for Canada exceed six billion dollars per year and indirect costs associated with sick leave and loss of hours from work etc are over 30 billion dollars per year. Um, pain in infancy is a big problem. There is 15 million babies born per year preterm and preterm babies spend time in the neonatal intensive care unit and they're exposed to greater than 10 painful procedures per day. So these babies grow up in later life and they have altered sensory thresholds, they might have increased pain and if they have to go for a second surgery or have a subsequent injury they have greater pain and greater analgesic requirements compared to healthy controls. So until relatively recently, in fact up until the 1970s, it was believed that babies didn't feel pain and that resulted in babies being exposed to surgeries such as open heart surgery in the absence of any analgesia at all. About a decade ago it was discovered that the immune system and the nervous system communicate and that innate immune system is very important in sensing and reacting to tissue damage and it's important for survival and healing but it can become maladaptive and that where it actually results in causing chronic pain and that's what we want to target is the immune cells of the ner central nervous system which are called microglia and how they are involved in chronic pain. And my specific research looks at how adverse events in early life result in altered pain hypersensitivity in later life and possibly an increased risk of chronic pain. Early life is a critical developmental period where noxious insults such as pain or stress has a long-term effect on the developing brain and spinal cord and the central nervous system. Studies by colleagues in the field have shown that microglia, as I mentioned, these are the immune cells of the central nervous system, are critically involved in the long-term effects of neonatal pain. However, the mechanisms, the pre precise molecular mechanisms underlying this remain unknown, and that's where my research will focus on. We want to get a better understanding of the mechanisms underlying chronic pain and ultimately lead to new pharmacological treatments or preventative treatments for the 20% of Canadians that suffer from chronic pain. I love doing this research, I love finding out things that we've never found out before. I love looking at you know, a new area such as early life or adolescence that are understudied and that we haven't seen before. And um, yeah, it's just it's the potential to do good, um, prevent some uh, pain from happening, whether it be early in life or later in life is just really, really exciting to me.